Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the GMS Magazine videos. I am Paco Garcia, your host. Um, today, I'm going to take another take at the uh, RPG of Day 2018. And the question of today is what game has actually surprised me? Now, the question doesn't specify if, if I should find a game that has surprised me in a good or a bad way. Hmm. So, um, a game that surprised me in a bad way. Uh, let, let's, let's start with that. Uh, and then go on to one that surprised me in a good way. Uh, a, a superhero game called uh, Superheroes Inc. that was published in Spain in the early 90s, give or take. And it surprised me because, in a bad way because um, the game looked absolutely amazing. I mean, the, the illustrations were just absolutely fantastic. The whole selection of powers was so, so intense. It looked absolutely brilliant, but at the time of playing, it had a completely different and, well, the completely wrong system to play with it because it was a D100 system. And that wasn't very good because it didn't allow us to have enough flexibility to use our powers the way we wanted or even generate the characters that we actually wanted to play. Um, so, for example, the superpowers, uh, they, they had absolutely zero flexibility. If you were speedy, then you were speedy, and that's all you could do, and you could only move fast. But you couldn't do something like, for example, uh, you can only move fast if you're underwater, or you can only move fast if you're spinning, or something ridiculous like that. It, it just wouldn't allow you to do that. And I, I, I found that incredibly disappointing. So that was one game that surprised me in the wrong way. Uh, one that surprised me in a good way, uh, I have to say, Mind Jammer. Uh, it's my favorite science fiction game ever and ever. Um, but it surprised me because although I know Sarah Newton very well, I know the quality of the writing and how good the designer she actually is. Um, but it surprised me because I was not expecting the depth and yet how approachable the game was. It was very easy to understand uh, the fate rules, which I tried to read the fate core book and couldn't get to grasp with it. And she explained them to me absolutely perfectly in that book uh, how extensive the whole thing was it was just absolutely fantastic and it was a wonderful wonderful surprise it's, it's one of those megatomes huge books that i have absolutely zero issues with reading them time and time again because it's so so enjoyable to do so considering that science fiction games weren't really my thing to be honest i'd rather do fantasy that i was expecting a huge very difficult indeed to read tome with tons of information that i wasn't going to need I actually found it very enjoyable and I keep talking about the game and I will forevermore. And if you haven't checked my Jammer yet, then by all means. And the last game that has surprised me in a very good way as well has been Conan the RPG. I still have to do the full review for that game. But it has surprised me in a good way because I thought that having um, a class 3 sort of progression wasn't going to work well for a game that's meant to be kind of such long ago fantasy thing it was going to be a bit too regimented for something that should feel a bit more chaotic and yet um, the modifius guys have managed to do it in a way that that progression to go you know from one wizard to type to another wizard type etc it really works extremely well and it makes perfect sense within the world itself so i enjoyed that surprisingly enough because i thought i was going to hate it but i truly didn't in fact it's one one of the things about that game that i have liked the most so uh, I would take a look at that one as well because it's certainly very very good indeed thank you for watching I hope it's been good for something and I've given you some information that's been interesting I'm Paco Garcia remember to subscribe and please do share the love of this video and give me a lot of likes if you have enjoyed this thank you and I'll talk to you very soon indeed take care Stop recording, you asshole. Why isn't it stopping recording? Why are you stopping? I'm gonna have to trim this.